I want to look at a simulation of a Maxwell Boltzmann distribution. On the top left, uh, we have a sample of a gas. All of the particles in the gas are the same, and the colours represent the kinetic energy of each particle. Yellow represents a high kinetic energy, and those particles are moving at high speed. Blue represents a low kinetic energy, and those particles are moving much more slowly. Red represents intermediate kinetic energies and speeds. And you can see that as the particles collide with each other, they are transferring energy between themselves. So the, the colours of each particle change uh, as the collisions take place. At the bottom of the page is a graph that shows the kinetic energy of the particles. And you can see that the graph is familiar to us as a Maxwell-Boltzmann distribution. And that's what that graph from the syllabus represents. It's effectively a histogram that shows the kinetic energies of the particles in a sample. So on the vertical axis, we have the number of particles with a particular kinetic energy. And on the horizontal axis, we have the kinetic energy of the particles. So the graph has a familiar shape. You can see that it starts at the origin, 0, 0. It goes up relatively steeply to a peak. And then it drops down relatively gradually at high energies. And I want to look at what happens when we heat this gas up. So I'm just going to click this box here, uh, where it says heater, and that will cause the gas to heat up. Now, when that happens, I want you to keep an eye on two things. So the first thing is this number here, KT. So that represents the temperature. I don't want you to worry too much about the lowercase k or exactly what the number represents, but it is directly proportional to the temperature of the gas. I also want you to pay close attention to the shape of the graph when I switch the heater on. We expect the peak to move further down and further to the right, and we also expect that the graph itself will move further towards the right hand side. So we expect to have more particles with the high kinetic energies. So I'm going to click the heater on. I'm just going to increase the heater temperature to the maximum. And we're just going to watch to see what happens to the shape of that graph. So you can see the value of kt on the right hand side there is increasing gradually. So it's just gone past 12. It's coming up to 13 now. And if you look at the graph at the bottom, you can clearly see that the peak has moved further down and further to the right. And that the graph itself has shifted towards those high energies on the right hand side. Notice too that we've now got white colour coded particles so we didn't have those at the original temperature so it used to be that the high energy particles were yellow. We've now got these white particles at very high kinetic energies and that energy has come from that additional thermal energy uh, from heating the gas. Notice that the graph still starts at the origin, 0, 0. And if we were to work out the area under this graph, it will be the same. So the number of particles in the simulation has not changed. And the area under the graph is equal to the number of the particles in our sample.